How are we going guys? I would like to share some uh, info with my audio file friends out there. Um, perhaps you've got Windows and perhaps you would like a uh, DSP, a processor, but you can't quite afford one. Perhaps you have, you know, an amplifier laying around that you would, um, you'd like to bridge it. You'd like to use it on a sub or something. I'm going to walk you through how to get a processor on your Windows PC, okay? How to bridge any amplifier. Today I'm gonna to bridge this Denon 7 channel um, AV3808, it's a 7.1 channel amp. Okay, so we're gonna need two pieces of software. We're gonna need uh, this VB Audio cable from vbaudio.com slash cable. Uh, you know, everything will be in the description, guys. So don't worry, and I apologize about the video quality. I'm just doing the best with what I have. We'll, we'll download and install VB cable. And we will also go to loopysoft.com slash ikio. And on the main page there, you can download that. Download and install that. Uh, VB cable will require a restart. So once we've restarted, we will open up the Ikio program and I'm just going to go new project and this is what you'll be greeted with nice blank slate now this program you can pay for it you can expand its features however in the free form it's pretty sick you get two inputs and six outputs which is enough for a stereo pair of three ways that's pretty awesome pretty powerful okay so let's set this thing up we're going to need to click add for the inputs we need to add two inputs and today we're going to add four outputs our left uh, non-inverted and inverted and our right non-inverted and inverted okay and we can name these so we can name this one left input and you know we can call this one our right input and down the bottom here we could just go left positive and our left negative and our right positive and this will make things a bit easier when we set up a little bit later okay once we've got those set up we will go to routing our left will be joined to our lefts, and our right will be joined to our rights. We will go here to ASIO settings and we'll go ASIO for all. That should have installed with the uh, VB cable software. We'll enable that, and once we've enabled that down in our taskbar, we will get a nice little icon down here. You may have to click your little arrow. We'll click that and we've got some settings here now. The leftmost icon here, the white ones here, that looks like a on off button, you know, and that's what it is. It is an on off button. What we're going to want to do is turn off everything, grey them all out. Ooh, my mouse here sucks. Okay. We're going to turn off everything aside from the hi-fi cable input. Make sure the output is turned off. This is a separate one. We don't need those. Everything turned off aside from that and whichever sound card you're going to use. So high definition, that's your onboard. I'm going to use my graphics card HDMI out to the receiver. That would be this NVIDIA. You see NVIDIA GPU here, but you understand. So we're going to leave that on and the input turned on. With the stock settings, you may find once we're all done that, it, you know, you get a glitching type of sound. We're going to want to like open this back up. And if you click this button, it'll expand out. So you get these options that I've got here. This button on the right is like advanced settings to bring up these options. And your buffer offset, you're just going to want to slide that to the right until it cleans that sound up. If you click your uh, hi-fi cable, this is also a separate 
setting as you can see that, that's kernel buffers and the GPU one was a buffer offset both of those you're going to find that both of those will help turn uh, slide those to the right you can slide them full to the right and you, you're not going to hurt anything it's latency as far as I understand it's fine okay once you're sure that you've only got your output device and the hi-fi cable selected we can close that <clears throat> now I like to use a dedicated music player um, for this so I use foobar and the reason I do that is I can set foobar up with the output device so um, I can just play whatever I want through foobar and then my other programs such as Winamp or Media Player or whatever that will just work perfectly as normal through my other sound devices and things you're gonna wanna install Fubar and the ASIO plugin for Fubar. I will try to link that in the description as well. And we'll just want to go to configure. Um, if this is your first time using Fubar, you'll want to go install, point it to your ASIO support, install that, click apply, it'll restart, and you're all good. Then we'll have this. Uh, output here you'll have ASIO down underneath we'll set our output device as a hi-fi cable input click OK then back in Accio we will just go to the ASIO settings to the driver and we'll go none wait a second and then reselect it and that just um, restarts the driver and um, you know it's all configured and everything now we'll actually see that when we go back to our inputs and outputs page now we will have all of our channels that we can select from hi-fi cable one for input our left input and cable two for our right input so that's left and right coming from foobar Fubar should support six and eight channel like DSDs as well. So, you know, you can have eight channel DSDs coming in with the paid version. You can have more inputs. And our output, if you've done everything correctly, so I've got high definition audio, I've got eight channels. Uh, so I have actually left out one thing that we need to do. We need to go to sounds, right click on your speaker and go sounds to bring up your sound properties just go to your sound device and go configure so if you've got a receiver you want to set that to the highest amount of channels so we'll just go 7.1 and make sure that we've got all the channels enabled and that they're all full range and that's all sweet we'll do the same with the hi-fi cable input we'll go configure and we'll just make sure that that's also 7.1 channels okay all high all full range all enabled finish um, you might want to go back and just you know restart that driver um, you know especially if especially if your inputs and your outputs are not showing up you know, restart that driver mate that will help you out so we've got VB1 and 2 for our inputs and then our outputs I'm going to be using five and seven and right I'm not going to worry about I'm just bridging one channel to show you guys how it works today the magic happens in here this is really the setting you need to bridge we'll go left negative and all we do is click invert we'll go to right negative and click invert and that's that's it also in here you do have so you can do additional things um, you can do it on the input or the output if you say you have three way setups you've got six speakers in total you could just go and you wanted to low pass everything at like I don't know 10,000 Hertz for some weird reason you could just go to the input and go add and you could go like a low pass 
uh, 10,000 and that will apply it to all of the, um, the speakers or the drivers that are connected to that left input. So because we've done it to the left input, it will apply to both those two. Okay. We'll just remove that. Let's delete. And might have to, whoop. There we go, okay. Last step is to click this, playing. Cool, and we'll just go to Fubar. I'm gonna play a 40 hertz tone. If we go back to Echio. Oh, wrong one. Okay, we can see that we've got some signal coming through here. It's going through all four channels. Alrighty. Now, let's fire up this. I wish I could show you the back of the receiver. I wish I could show you, you know, left, front left out, front right out, but you know, it's really hard to show you guys. I'm really sorry. I was playing with my new three-way speakers here. What I've got is uh, just the speaker wire that was coming off them. So what I've got is, um, well, I had the woofer, so I've got three speakers, bass driver, mid and tweeter. I had those running off the front left, the surround left, and the surround back left, okay? And I've just got the speaker wire sitting here. At the moment, I'm getting two volts out, and I'm using the positive of surround back and the positive of the surround. So surround back positive and surround positive together, both on the left channel. <laughs> uh, surround left and surround back left. I know that's very confusing. Now I'm trying to... Let's see. Okay, so you can see that I've got two volts here. Two volts, AC, RMS. If I were to just mess around with just the one channel, so we've got one volt. So essentially what I'm doing here is probing the surround back left channel. But when I use the positive from the surround back left and the positive from the surround back, I get two volts. Okay, twice the voltage, four times the power. It's bridged. So you use the positive from both, okay? You can use your front left and right, surround left and right, surround back left and right. So you could use um, your front left and surround back left. You use the two positives and yeah, it's bridged. Okay guys, I'll remember to link the things in the description. Leave a like if you liked it. Um, any questions, I'm sure I'll answer them for you. I'll catch you in the next one.